Welcome to the first episode of Meet Your UP Sports Stars. Every week we'll be chatting with a UP sportsman or woman, and today we'll be talking with Rikane Stjernkamp, a 100 meter hurdler. In 2017, she made a comeback after recovering from an injury and a surgery in which a bone from her ankle was removed. She had a fantastic season after intense training, running the Varsity Athletics record time of 13.21, and she had a very successful season in Europe. As a UP student, Rikanet knows how difficult first year can be, and today she's going to tell us all about hers. Welcome Rikanet, and thank you for joining us today. Tell us about your 2017 season and your injury and the surgery you had to have. Yeah, well thank you for having me. Um, 2017 I had really I had an awesome season. Um, especially coming back from two years being out of competition because of an injury, I had an ankle injury. So what happened was um, I was born with an extra bone in my ankle and I couldn't uh, train anymore, it was too painful. So they had to remove that, that piece of bone and you know I started out this season last year with a lot of doubt. You know, am I going to be able to run, am I going to be able to run fast because that's important. So, um, but at the end you know I just started competing again slowly but surely and I had a wonderful season. Great. And what are your plans for this year? For this year, um, my focus will be more on the European season. Um, you know, I'm going to miss out running Varsity Cup this year. It's, it's my favorite event and I'm really going to miss that. But um, I'm going to run locally, but also more uh, in Europe. Oh, great. And tell us, how did you get involved in Tux Athletics? Well, because I did athletics in high school, I really wanted to do athletics you know, after school. And uh, I did a few sports, but my choice was athletics. So I contacted people, you know, because I needed a coach mm -hmm. at Tux, and uh, I got involved there. How did you find a coach contact? Well, on the UP. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 So do you think that's the best route for first years who would like to get involved in, in UP athletics? Yes, I think right. that's the easiest, and it's the very um, cooperative thing. Oh, good. Yeah. And tell us about more about your time at university. When did you start? What did you study? And tell us more about your <laughs> masters. <laughs> Give myself away. Yeah, right? <laughs> no, um, yeah. In 2011, I was the first year. I did. I studied sports science, um, which made it easier because you know you're close by. Mm. You connected there at, at the sport campus. So uh, yeah, my first year is. I only have uh, great memories of it. You know, you you have your sport and you have a lot of events, you'll and all of that, which is which is great. And what's that other part of the question? <laughs> Tell us about your master's, very interesting. Okay, so I'm busy with my master's degree and it, to summarize it, it's about women's sport leadership. So I believe that we need more role models in athletics and in sport, especially women in South Africa at this moment. So that's my study. That's fantastic. And let's talk more about your first year now. What were the expectations you had for first year? Well, to be honest, I didn't know what to expect, you know, it's just like this big university, you come from school and now it's, everything is big and you just, you know, you think there's going to be a lot of jaw, but you need to train, you know, so how do you balance that? And it was, it was a challenge, but I believe that you need to know what do you want, if you want to train, it's, it's important to, to do both, but balance it out. Yeah. Right. And O week is a very important week for all first year students, as all first year students are figuring out now. <laughs> uh, tell us about yours. What was the most memorable thing from O week for you? Well, you know, you know, walking on campus, seeing every everyone, all the people. Um, I think you know, it's it's very um, a useful tool. Try and do everything that you can because. When university starts, you know, you like you feel like off you know. <laughs> so um, you know, it's just that it's very useful. It it tells you what to expect. It helps you through everything, and um, it just it's a it's a very useful guide to help you. And what was your best experience and your worst experience the first year? Sure. Uh, my worst experience was uh, <laughs> I don't know why I start with the worst, but my worst experience was uh, I had an injury at some point. So you know that was wasn't ideal but you know because of that I could experience more of the university okay. you know so it was a balanced year for me I met a lot of new people um, made a lot of friends and I think those friends are still my friends today um, so I would say that's uh, that's how I like for me oh, that's great and what advice would you like to give to the incoming first years especially for aspiring athletes you know I would say you know in high school it's easy to be involved um, your friends does it, you just go from literally from school, you go to the track and 
everybody's there. So I would I would tell you to you know do an effort to get involved in the beginning. There are groups, there are people, and um, enjoy what you do. Balance it out. Try and do everything, not too much, but to to balance it out in a way. So yeah, that's my advice. That's very good <laughs> advice. And thank you so much for your time, Rikinette. We really appreciate you coming in. And that is it for your first episode of Meet Your UP Sports Stars. Join us next week to meet the next one.